Okay, let's do this. What's up, everyone? I just want to do a, a quick video clarifying something from the last video that we did over how to stay warm in the wintertime. Uh, we had a clip that was introducing all this stuff and it got edited out. It, it got disappeared somewhere. I don't know. It, it's all good. Um, I, th I think the video still worked okay, even without that little clip, but this is essentially what I was going to go over real super quick, okay? These are the primary ways that your body will lose heat. There are other ways, but these are the three big ones. First one we're going to go over is radiation. Now we're not talking about anything crazy, not microwave radiation. We're not talking about nuclear radiation. I'm just talking about the word radiate, which means to emit. So you know how a flashlight emits light or a star emits energy, your body emits heat. And through the process of radiation, you're emitting heat and you want to keep that to yourself as much as possible. So super basic, obvious stuff, wear clothing, okay? Next one is evaporation. Again, not to insult anyone's intelligence, evaporation is the process by which a uh, liquid turns into a gas. And we all know this, but when you're sweating and that sweat evaporates, it's gonna cool you off. So the way to combat that or to minimize that is don't wear too much clothing and don't wear the wrong type of clothing. Yeah, even when it's five degrees out, you can wear too much. If you're up hiking, climbing a mountain, and you're sweating, 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 because you're wearing seven layers, and your heart is going, and you're breathing heavy, and your whole body is just working overtime, yeah, you're gonna be sweating. Same thing if you're hanging out by a campfire, but you're still wearing the same amount of clothing as if you weren't, if you were just hanging out you know, by base camp. All right, last one we're gonna go over super quick is conduction. Those of you who have taken chemistry class in the past, you might recall that conduction is the direct transfer of heat from one object to another object in a closed environment. So like this little example, like right here, I've got my, my pointing telescope. <laughs> if I was out in five degree weather, not wearing gloves, my hand would conduct heat into the telescope and I would lose a lot of heat through my hand into the telescope. Super basic common sense. You wanna wear good gloves and good socks, good boots. Obviously you wanna, conduction most involves hands and your feet during the day because those are the parts of your body that are most coming into contact with other objects. And at night, you wanna have a good sleeping pad, one of those closed cell foam sleeping pads. If you don't have a good sleeping pad, and again, if it's five degrees out, you're gonna lose a lot of heat from your body that's going to conduct into the ground and you're gonna be frigid when you wake up in the morning because you didn't have a, a sleeping pad. All right, everyone, that covers it. Again, this was just supposed to be a quick little uh, overview. All right, okay, everybody, that covers it. Again, this was just supposed to be a quick little overview of the three primary methods by which your body loses heat. Remember, stay dry out there and be prepared. We'll talk later.